Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. In Matthew 22, 1 through 14, Jesus tells us a parable of the wedding feast. If you have your Bible, follow along with me. And again, Jesus spoke to them in parables saying, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. Again, he sent other servants saying, tell those who are invited, see, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his farm and other to his business, while the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully and killed them. The king was angry and he sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burnt their city. Then he said to his servants, the wedding feast is ready to... But those who are invited are not worthy. Go therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the roads and gathered all who they found, both good and bad. And so the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the, at the guests, he saw there was a man with no wedding garment. And he said to him, friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then, he said, then the king said to the attendants, bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. We're invited to that wedding feast. We're invited because God's chosen people weren't interested. In fact, they're not in, they were not interested to the point of going back to work and even killing the servants sent to invite sent, uh, to invite them to the feast. This upset the king so much that he came and totally destroyed those originally invited. The king then sent the servants to invite anyone in the streets to the wedding. Oh, by the way, that's you and me. This is God giving us the ability to become part of the wedding party. The only thing we have to do is accept the invitation. The caution given in this parable is that we don't show up without the wedding garment. And the wedding garment is Jesus Christ. When we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we put on Jesus Christ. That's the wedding garment. If we're found not having accepted Jesus, we'll be thrown into darkness. Where there will be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. Calvary, put on your party clothes and let's party. Have a blessed day.